Here we go. Of course, it wants to rain right when we leave, but that's all right. <laughs> of course. All right, y'all, we are headed out. Following the wife, she's pulling the camper. I got the canoe and a bunch of junk all in the back of my truck. We're gonna hopefully have a good time. See y'all there. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Going right by Moon's Creek again. <laughs> we getting there. We getting there. Show y'all some of the scenery. Trying to take y'all along. sarcastic y'all hope you can tell it's pretty I mean there's prettier but uh still pretty pretty uh, you know what I mean all right y'all so we are here we're gonna get situated where we're gonna pull the camper at and the boat and all but Trying to show y'all the lake. As soon as these trees are fitting to clear out here in a second. But this here is Birch Lake. About 45 minutes or so, an hour. How fast I drive, about an hour to get here. Well, y'all, this is the camp. I'm keeping my voice down. There's a lot of folks around. Well, not a lot, but there's enough. So anyhow, I'm going to show y'all Mama's truck, my truck. And then you see... On down, there's a little rest area. Just a glorified outhouse. No running water or nothing. Just a hole in the ground. Does the job. And then you just park on down through there and the boat launches on down there. So if you are not military, this is where you have to go. Just basically parking. That's all they got here. That's the only thing. So it is what it is. If you are military, they have some cabins and stuff you can rent on down the road. Um, out away from everybody else, which is pretty nice. But anyhow, saying I'll show you our little uh, setup here. Got the corner lot. <laughs> and here you also got a cabin. There's some folks over here right now, but you got a cabin right there you can also rent and stuff. So like I say, it's not the greatest, you know, secluded spot. We got plenty of those out here, but I, this was just mainly for the kids and for me, a uh, late Father's Day deal, going fishing and stuff out here and trying it out. So yeah, this is it, y'all. So just wanted to show you our little camp, camp spot. So. All right, y'all, we are on the water. Got the boat in the water, canoe in the water. And if y'all can't tell, this here ain't the same one. This here is my canoe slash yacht. Because <laughs> this joker is 19 foot long. This is a Grumman, 19 foot long Grumman canoe, flatback. And you can see I got a little 2.5 Yamama haul on the back. Uh, I got that on the other canoe that uh, I thought I was going to get rid of. But I was like, man, for, this, for these lakes like this here, it ain't going to get no better than that little motor like that. Nice, quiet, four-stroke. So anyway, me and Luke, I just got in it. This thing is way stable, y'all. First maiden voyage with this big boat. This is going to be our moose boat. Um, everything boat. If, like, if I want to haul a bunch of kids, all kind of weight and stuff, this is going to be the one to do it. I know, Luke, you ain't going to get nowhere. You're good. So anyway, I'm going to put the phone down. I'm going to get in there. We're going to get out on the water, and I'll bring y'all back. Luke's way up there. <laughs> There's a big difference, huh, Luke, than that 16-footer. Looks letting his line out. We're gonna kind of troll, rudimentary troll. Just gonna drop the baits, work this, the banks kind of, you know, it's got a pretty good gradual slope. And we're gonna try to, I'm gonna let them all out and then I'm just gonna paddle ease through here. Nice about a little electric motor, but this will be fine. I can fire this up. But, uh, show ya a little setup here, the little, little your mama haul, or others don't know, it's actually pronounced, I can't even say it now because I call it your mama haul. Yamaha, yeah, Yamaha. <laughs> 
But uh, it's more fun saying your mama haul. But uh, so anyway, man, this little thing is sweet. I mean, he ain't getting nowhere quick. I'll show you. I'll, I'll film it. I should have done it. I've just I haven't drove it yet, so I'm getting a feel for it. But anyway, look around. Y'all check this out. So this is Birch Lake. You can see you got a few houses, people that live over yonder. Yeah, you can run boats. Sold enough boats. Got a few jet skis, but it ain't. Oh, my hands in the way. We came from over there. But this is a pretty good size lake. We've only bank fished this one, and it was a couple years back. So <clears throat> we're gonna see what time have we got. Let me see. Let me put my watch around. It is 8:10 p.m. So we'll see what happens. Let me put the phone down. I got. I got to get a line wet, y'all. Look! Look here. We got us one. Got a rainbow. Ain't nothing right home about. I think it's a rainbow. Yeah, no, I think it is a rainbow. Look at him. Come on over here, boy. Get on over here. I'm gonna play with him a little bit. Come on over here. Get in this boat. Get in this boat. Get on up in here. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we got him. Yeah, that's a rainbow. Get in the boat, son. Man, oh man. Yeah, that's a nice little rainbow. Look, got one. Look, got one. What in the world is that thing? It's the tiniest thing I've ever seen. You get one? Oh, look how we got. Thing? Probably a little tiny fish, little rain. Like yeah, I throw it over there. They're breaking right here, so I'm gonna scrap my previous plan. I, they're, we've seen a couple busting over here, shallow. And I was like, well, let's just drift over and we'll work our way to it. But man, we just seen them. But yeah, right there, one just broke, Luke. Here, I'm gonna leave this. Here, I'm gonna, let me see if I can get this one out. Come on now, get out of there. Yeah, I'm trying to get this fish out. Get out. Come on now. There we go. Come here, Bo. We don't really want these. I don't hate them, but they got a whole lot of bones in them. Look, you got one? I'm gonna let him go. I thought you had one. He like, he ran into it. He dropped it and hit it when he landed. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Get him, Luke. Get him. So, yeah, y'all, these, uh, I know somebody's gonna ask, well, you throw it, throw it back. I'm thinking we're gonna catch us much fish, all right? So, but with the kids and the rainbows, I really don't like them too much. I can them and they're awesome because the bones disintegrate. But as they are, I've like said with so many little kids and you can't fillet them without getting some kind of bones. I'm sure somebody's, oh, I'm good. Well, good for you. But we're really trying to get the salmon. They have landlocked salmon. So it's salmon just like out in the ocean. It's a salmon, but they're obviously in a lake. So they can't get nowhere. But they have salmon when they're smaller, they're pin bones. Salmon do have pin bones, but when they're little, they're so tiny. When you cook them, you don't, they're, they're just gone. So that's what we're really going to try to get, or Arctic char. Arctic char really good eating. I'll deal with the bones on them. But, all right. All right, y'all, so I'm going to put this phone down. I got a fish. There's some there's fish everywhere. Here now, y'all, we got another. Luke's over here playing around with squirrels in the tree. Look here, got a little rainbow. Got another one. Yeah. Oh, he's throwing the water. Let's see if I can get him up in there. Uh, get in here, little guy. Little guy a, box. a box? A box? Yeah. All right. Well, we got us another one in here. Man, they're fun. Man, y'all, we ain't been out here. I ain't kidding you. Ten minutes. Got two. Luke and I missed a couple. We're going to have to, have to get him out of the tree, y'all. Let me put the phone down. Hold on a second. Look at him flying. Hey. hey. The little guy. Another little rainbow. Man, I can't, I wish I'd have brought my stand. Oh, I have my my phone stand thing in my in my truck. Oh, there you go. Good. Hey, easy release. So I don't see y'all. Let me, let me grab my hook. I'm show you what I'm using. Some people might want to know. Let me throw it on my leg. So this little little two inch pink and white tube jig and a one sixteenth ounce jig head. Six pound test. A little ultra light. Just my little ultra light pole. But man, they're everywhere, y'all. Luke just had a couple of them that got off. So this is hard to do trying to film and fish. If I get a big one, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> get him, Luke. Get him. Luke's got him. Now you got him. Where's he at? Where's he at? He's, oh, he's by the boat. Get him, Luke. All right. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Luke got him. Here. Kind of sling him back here, Luke. You might need to sit in the middle. Oh, no. There you go. All right. Uh. Oh, look. Perfect. Come off. This little guy here, this will be like a stocked, a stocked rainbow here. Little guy. Get him on back out there. Man, this is fun, huh, Luke? It don't get much better. It don't. It don't. We got another one. Oh, come here, Luke. Come here, come here, little rainbow. 
Come here, fishy. We getting them. He's using a little. This is a uh, blue blue. Was it blue Arctic or Arctic? One of them Arctic Mips kind of style baits here. Let me get him off, y'all. Hold on. All right, y'all. So we're easing on it. I mean, it's rough leaving a spot when they are biting like crazy. But there's a lot of little fish, and in with them bigger size rainbows. I say bigger, about a 12 inches, um, which ain't a you know plenty eating size fish. But we're looking for old whoppers. So, you know, you get up there about 16 to 20 inch, and rainbows they get that pretty quick. But like I say, the salmon and everything else, we want to see. We want we're exploring. So anybody with a canoe or a kayak though, <clears throat> like without a motor, you definitely got to have a motor. Um, there's a little. Here to run. I hope it, hope it ain't too loud on the phone. I don't think it is. It ain't. This is in gear. We're just easing, idling. But uh, yeah. Look, like, hey man, if you bring your kayak, your canoe, if you're up in this up this way in Alaska, on <clears throat> Birch Lake, um, looking pretty awesome for fish. So, like, so we're gonna do some exploring. Though. So, hold on. Oh, we're running about wide open. <laughs> Like I say, you ain't getting nowhere really quick, but it sure beats paddling as far as the speed, anyhow. It beats paddling. I don't mind it, but it beats paddling. Now, we'll go around this corner I've never seen over here. They look good on the map. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful out here. I hope it shows up all right. Y'all look at that rain hitting the side of them hilltops over there. Purdy. Man, it's purdy. I'll tell you what. It's pretty country, yeah. Get him, Luke. Get him. I just got this one, y'all. It's a little bit bigger fish here. He's probably around 14 inches or so. You can see my hand, though. That ping jig, it's a killer. Oh, man. I'm going to have to put my phone down here. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Get, to... get him, Luke. Get him. He's hitting it hard. Well, he's running all over the place like a crazy man. I mean, he's not that little. Oh, he's pretty good size. Oh, easy. He's going crazy. Sling him over here. And he all right, drop him. All right, let me get him untangled. Oh, look, he come off perfect. Y'all, you see that log looking thing out yonder? That's a moose. They just decided to have him swim all the way across the lake. He's just chugging along. I ain't gonna, I don't want to get too close to him and make him panic and stress out though. So he's probably about. Maybe a hundred yards from the boat right here. But I don't want to get too close, like I said, and spook him, but that's pretty cool. I know they swim, but my gosh, it's like 50 foot out here. Could have just went around or something, but straight line. Y'all eating your noodles? Yeah. Yes, sir? This is the camp food mainstay is cup noodles, huh? Y'all love your cup noodles. That's for camping. And they got their dyed red lips from their water flavor stuff. Silly's. Yep. Oh, look, the rose hips are all nice and pretty and blooming right now. Ever be having berries for too long? Skeeters aren't too bad, but Meanwhile, man, I'll tell you what, we swear on these things. These little coals, these things work real good. They're like four bucks for like four or five of these things in a pack. They burn for up to like seven hours. They work pretty good, y'all. Yeah. You got a carrot? All right. Lunch time. This is the next day. Good job. Got two salmon. We actually caught it. I had my phone charging. These are two little, I guess they always say they're king salmon. King salmon. You can tell. It's hard to tell. I mean, when they're in the water, they kind of got the same kind of hue. Pinkish, a little bit green with some speckles like a rainbow. But they got a black mouth. You can tell up in there. See his tongue's black and his lips are black. 
So my papa, he lived in Washington State for a while, and they call them black mouth salmon, and that's the Chinook or the King salmon. But these landlocked salmon are different. I know I've said before that I don't like salmon, and I stand by that. That's the ocean-going salmon. Now, the landlocked salmon, the ones in lakes and whatnot, total different story. They're white meat. Um, when they're little or like this, 12 inches or so, 14, the pin bones in them disintegrate when you cook them. So for the kids and for myself too, I mean, you ain't got to worry about picking through a bunch of bunch of hair bones and stuff like rainbows and whatnot. Um, like I said, you know, you seen earlier, we I cooked that one, my wife wanted one, cooked that one rainbow. But if we're going to eat a bunch of fish up here, first off, burbot, but then these salmon like these here out of these lakes and stuff, they're pretty darn good. They're not bad, I got to say. So definitely your lakes, your lake salmon are awesome. So if y'all are in the area, try them. I'm telling you, they're really good. Finished product, y'all. No forks needed. This right here. I'm gonna say, I talk bad about the big salmon in the ocean, but these little guys, meat, almost white. It's kind of got a little bit of a orangish hue to it. Mm. Hey, you want some fishy? Yeah. No fish for you? I'm gonna go find a squirrel. Oh, you're gonna find a squirrel? Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Skin and all, it's good for you. Good little fish. These ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. And they're hot too. Good lord. Ooh. They're hot? Mm-hmm. I say these are nice off. You're up this way. These little salmon ain't gotta worry about no hair bones like the rainbows. And they're a little less fishy than rainbows. I know some people don't like rainbow trout because they have a little bit of a fishy-ish taste to them. These are really good. The kids are running around like a bunch of heathens. <laughs> All right. See y'all in a minute. Oh yeah, we out in the in the canoe. That's the other side of the lake. The roadside over there when we were driving in. Got us a few fish. Mama said she wanted a few more. Got two over there, and Luke got a big one over there. He got the biggest one. I caught the most, though. <laughs> we just kept that many. We got, we caught a few extras, but I, I threw them back. We only want a few. So. Yeah. Huh? What? Give it all it's got. You don't want all this bad 2.5 let's see skipping rock let's see if I, let's see if I still got it well y'all we made it back safe and sound I had a good couple couple days two and a half days out camping hope y'all enjoyed it um yeah that was fun got it got my coffee now thank god thank god we need some coffee um yeah if y'all are in the area you want to check birch lake out it's pretty sweet little place to hang out and camp can get busy on the weekend obviously it started getting picking up uh towards the end of our time there and stuff which we figured being the weekend and all but it's definitely a cool place to check out and get on the water caught a lot of fish and stuff airplane but anyhow oh and i want to do a, a shout out to my aunt if you see my shirt right there hooked up by the bay i've probably seen in a couple shots when i was wearing this shirt if you're in the spanish fort alabama area or thereabouts in Bowen County, Alabama. Go check out Hooked Up by the Bay. They got the best bait and tackle in the county. And go say hi to my aunt for me too, because she's awesome. So anyway, I wanted to shout her out because I, I love my shirt that, it, that she hooked me up with too. So anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for coming along with us. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, as always, leave any comments, questions, or concerns in the comment section. And yeah, y'all take care and God bless.